to my channel so today's video is going to be a one branded tutorial as you can tell by the title it is benefit cosmetics one branded tutorial I love benefit products I think they are amazing they are a fantastic company and I really love having the opportunity to work with them today's video is not sponsored in any way I'm not getting paid to say anything or show anything anything like that but Benefit was kind enough to send me over a box of goodies to create this video. Um, I already had a lot of products, so I didn't need everything. As you guys probably see, I use a lot of these products in most of my tutorials anyway. But yeah, they did send me over the products that I didn't have so that I could create this fresh, kind of summery, glowy, bronzy, everyday kind of look for you guys. Um, I think it'll be perfect for anyone who lives in the Northern Hemisphere as you guys are going into spring and summer. We're going into winter here in Australia, but I still think this look would be perfect for anyone um, just as an everyday kind of look. I mean, I know it's a little bit heavier on their skin, but that is the kind of look that I like. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to check out all of the benefit products. I will have them listed down below if you're interested in anything and I will get started on the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting out with the Professional Matte Rescue Gel. This gel just keeps your oils at bay and makes sure you don't get all sweaty and oily throughout the day. And then I'm priming using the Professional Primer. This one fills in any pores and just smooths your skin out so it's really good to use over textured skin. And then for complete coverage, I went in first with the Professional Makeup in the shade 2 and I applied a really thin layer of this. As you can see, it barely adds coverage. It's very, very light. So I'm just applying this underneath my foundation. Then the foundation I'm using is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. I'm in the shade Honey and I'm using a damp beauty blender to press this all over my skin. This shade is a perfect match for me with my fake tan so I would highly recommend it if you use Loving Tan. So yeah, I'm just applying this all over my skin. Then I'm going in with the new Hoola Quickie Contour Stick and this is amazing. It is so soft and so blendable. I'm absolutely obsessed with this for contouring my face. Um, so I'm applying it in all of the areas where I would normally contour and want my face to look slimmer or recede a bit more. And then I'm going in with the Damp Beauty Blender once again and just pressing that all into my skin. Moving in, I'm going to start doing my brows. So I'm using the Bravo Primer for the brows. So I'm just applying this through my eyebrows and then I'm going in with the Cabral and this is in the shade 3. This is what I use in my eyebrows pretty much every single day. I'm using a little Sigma angled brush. I'll have the number of it listed down below. But as you can see, my brows are very, very fair and sparse. So I do like to fill them in quite a bit and give them a nice shape so I start out with the pomade and just go underneath the brows and brush the products up and just give myself a nice shape and here I'm just brushing through with a spoolie and then I'm going in with the browsings and I'm just taking the powder shade and I am going to press this through the brows this just helps to highlight the brow hairs and make it look like you do actually have eyebrows and then for just carving out the brows and using the high brow pencil so I'm just going underneath the eyebrows and this just helps them look really sharp and clean and crisp and now I'm using a Sigma Bake Precision Brush just to blend it out and then finally to set them in place I'm using the 3D Brow Tones and I'm in the shade 4 I'm just brushing this all through the brow hairs and through the tail of the brow as well Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Fake Up Concealer and this is a hydrating concealer so you want to make sure you set it but I'm applying it underneath the eyes and down the center of the face. It is amazing for any dry patches you might have on your skin so I would highly recommend this one for anyone with dry skin. So I'm applying it to all the areas where I want to conceal and I'm just blending it out using my Beauty Blender once again.
Then I'm just going to use a cream highlighter. This is the What's Up highlighter. It is gorgeous. I'm using my Beauty Blender, just applying it straight onto the Beauty Blender and then applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, my chin, all of those kinds of areas. And I did this before powder so that the cream wouldn't sit yucky over the powder. That was a really weird way to say it. But the powder I'm using is the Hello Flawless powder in the shade Ivory. So I'm just using a large Sigma powder brush to apply it all over my face and then I use the brush that it came with to apply it right underneath the eyes. And then to powder contour, I'm taking the original Hoola powder from Benefit, obviously from Benefit, oh my god. And I'm using the brush it came with to contour. This brush is amazing for a chiseled contour, I love it. So I'm using this on my cheekbones and then using this small contour brush from Sigma around my hairline and on the bottom of my chin. And then for blush I took California which is a beautiful rosy golden blush. I just applied it to my cheeks. And then to highlight I'm taking the new Dandelion Twinkle Powder. I'm so excited about this and I've been using it non-stop so I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going to mention now, I accidentally skipped through my eyes. I didn't realize it wasn't filming, but I just applied some Hoola bronzer through my crease and then this dandelion twinkle on my lids. And then I put on some Their Real Mascara and then applied a natural set of falsies from Ardell. And then to finish off the look, I used the Cha Cha Balm, which is a tinted lip balm, and that completed it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this everyday makeup look, and I will see you in my next video.